get the right leg going up here. Yeah. Probably all wondering where you rent a Ford like that to take up into the woods. Look for raspberries, dude. I usually go up the other way. car the whole time yeah. he's gonna scratch it I know he's gonna scratch he's gonna scratch the baby yeah man it's cool huh it's a view these are all these are all carved out during the 1800s early 1900s get the gear up and back yeah, it's gold the ore, yep. All the fucking lumber and dynamite, fucking yeah, all the everything you needed to mine. This is called the upper camp bird, is what this is. Hell yeah. These are all these are all carved out during the 1800s, early 1900s. Okay. Get the gear up and back yeah, with gold. The ore, yep. All the fucking lumber and dynamite. Fucking yeah, all the everything you needed to mine. This is called the upper camp bird, is what this is. Hell yeah. But it was pink for so long it didn't die. Well see. He doesn't really walk and shuffle. Okay. So we call him the boot speed buggy, is what we call him. <laughs> <laughs> his, he's got feeling in his two big toes. And that's the only way he can push it. That's what you see sometimes. I fucking, I'll trip myself out. If I get my senses narrowed real down, I can barely feel myself touching the bottom of my toes. Oh, really? But everything else is gone. It's the weirdest thing. Well, yeah, it's all the way down dude, there. We were moving this fucking table. This was about four years ago. We're moving this table at school because I do building maintenance in the summertime. Yeah. 
He was doing this, moving this fucking table and it dropped it on his foot. I go, sorry, dude. He goes, what? <laughs> you need to get that table off your fucking foot. Problems there. Thank you, sweetness. She don't look for shit. I wouldn't trade her for any fucking thing, actually. Someone set a tent up for us in case. There you go. Kids got stuck up here. Put the table, picnic table, everybody. They probably got a cooler. that we'd be, you know, on the deck of some ship signing a formal peace treaty with Osama bin Laden. I think most people know that the Iraq law, the Ah, oh, the lens. Mirror's falling off the car. It's been a few days since I turned y'all on. The camera and you behind it. Um, I turned you on for a little four wheel in an ear with Steve. That was fun, huh? But. I am up on Owl Creek Pass, just outside of Ure, going back over towards the Black Canyon in Gunnison, Colorado. Trying to find another campsite for the day. We're going to be hanging out in the woods today. And then, uh, yeah, not too much has happened in the past three days. That's not true. I hung out in Ure and uh, met a few of the people I'd seen last time I came through there. Met some new people. Been down to the hot springs every day coffee shops and bars during the day and it was a good old time. I like that town. If you ever go to Ure, be sure to check out the Backstreet Cafe and the saloon. It's on the east side of town. It's like a real dark saloon. The only dark saloon in town. And, uh, if you go to Backstreet, ask for Rob because he's the owner and he'll take care of you. He's always taking care of me when I'm there. Cooks really good food. Anyways. What else? Hung out with John up in Grand Junction and did four wheeling for a while. You saw that. And we got a really good sleep last night. I'm still waking up. I was hungover yesterday and didn't sleep the night before because I was drunk. So then I drove way up. 10,000 feet into the mountains on top of Owl Creek Pass, right next to a rushing creek, and uh, ate a good dinner and passed out in the back of the car and slept all night long with the raging river flowing next to me, and then it rained all morning, so when it rains in the van, I'm way up in the woods, it's the best sleep I get. I don't like waking up to the rain, that's probably why I sleep really good, because I just want to keep sleeping in the rain. Anyways, me and Nora are in second gear, coasting down a dirt road, trying to find a campsite. Trying to wake up, enjoy our last few weeks on the road. I got about three weeks and then I'm in Albuquerque and then two or three weeks and then I'm in Oregon. And pretty much done at that point. I'll still have to drive down to California. The road trip will be done. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh wow. These rocks are really cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see this one. 
Yeah, I'm too lazy right now, sorry. It looks like the chimney of a house stuck off to the side of these cliffs. You can imagine, right? Just driving. A minivan in the woods. On a rainy Thursday morning. Oh, what can I tell you? What should I tell him about, Mara? I know we've been doing some fun stuff. I just can't recollect any of it right now. It was that kind of fun, you know? Sure was good to go four-wheeling with Steve way up in the woods. That was cool. That old truck just bounced up and down those rocks and crawled right through anything he put in front of it. And I saw Didi at the saloon. I don't know if Didi will be working at the saloon next year. She's from Bulgaria. I think this is her last student visa. So if you see her, she got a work visa or a traveler's visa. But Didi's the best bartender I've had on the travels, just, just laugh so easily. I love that in person. There's a few people in your room that laugh really easily, which is nice when people are like that. You should be comfortable enough to laugh at anything you find funny out loud and freakishly. I'm working on it. That looks like a pretty good spot right there, huh, Nora? Hmm, uh, almost a view of the mountains, too. That's the ticket right there. We're gonna find a creek with a view of the mountains today. Say good luck, Jordan. So tired of my own food. John cooked for me. I ate out in Ure. It's so nice to just not eat my own food. I used to think my own food was pretty good. And it probably isn't too bad. I put a little bit of work into learning how to cook in this van, but after a while you just get tired of making food for yourself. I think I got a good book yesterday, so that'll help pass the time up in the woods. I do like getting up in the woods still, but I get a little bit lonely, so... Not today, I got a book and a dog. Well, this has been an awfully long video chat. Thanks for listening. Sorry, Nora. What do you think? Asking you shall receive the view of the mountains on the creek. The only thing I'm worried about is uh well, there's the creek. And this is where the creek comes sometimes. You can see it's tracks through here. So, I guess I just keep an eye on the water. John told me some good stories about flash floods camping in Colorado. So, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought about it before, but I'm thinking about it a little bit more now. Flash flood. I don't know if I could jump in my car and start it in time to get out of here. I know I turned the camera on in time for you though, so don't worry about that. Alright, I'm gonna go enjoy this becomingly sunny day. Below some spires. They aren't really spires, they're more like ridges. Some spires up there, I guess, huh? And the creek side, and the dog side, and the flood zone. Wish me luck. Today I'll be serving. A sandwich with Galen Bratwurst and Senior Painter Cheese. Creekside, way up in the mountains of Colorado. Prepared for me a gourmet kitchen in the back of a Chevy Venture minivan. Live music and fresh air. 
in our indoor outdoor patio. Jordan's way. That's what it is. Nora's had enough sticks she can take a nap. Here you go. I told you I'd give one of these to you when I had lunch. I was gonna make you wait till after I had lunch. But since they're on film, might as well show everybody that I'm not cruel to animals. Come on. Take it from me. You gotta take it from me. Come on. So that's it. I don't know if my pants are ever going to dry out there on the mirror. You hear that? We got a flash flood watch throughout the evening. Here in Montrose. That's me. I'm watching. Don't see it yet. I think what I'll pay attention to is trees cracking. I heard that's a pretty good sign of a flash flood. And boulders on fire. I've heard people say that they see boulders getting pushed by the air in front of the flood, smacking and trying to talk over the radio and film and make lunch. And the sun's coming out and clouds are coming in and talking to a video camera. Yeah. Sign up all week on site at Smugglers, located at Highway 650. Thank you, Lord. Or call and set up your spot every day of the week. There's